Hey everybody! Funny meeting you here at iStencils.com. I'm Patty Tolly Parrish, and you may know me from YouTube. Um, if you do, thank you. Um, but I'm here at iStencils.com, and if you found me here, then you have found the stencil mecca. Um, so many designs, so much fun to be had here at iStencils. Um, so many sizes, so many different types of designs. If you want something in a stencil, you're going to find it here. But why I'm here today is to demo my second favorite tool other than stencils, which is my Jelly Arts Jelly Plate. So I'm going to drop down and get right to it so we can keep this quick because you know I like to do it quick. Stand by. These are the hands you might recognize from YouTube. <laughs> but I'm here today at iStencils.com to introduce you to the Jelly Plate. And I'm doing that because I stencils is what I use most on my jelly plate when I make my prints. The jelly plate is just that. It's a plate of a futuristic type of gelatin that is pretty much indestructible and will last you forever. It's cushy, so you get that little bit of spring in your print that allows you to get the really crisp, clean prints. So let's jump right in. What you need is a brayer and some acrylic paint, any kind of acrylic paint from uh, Michael's or AC Moore at 50 cents a bottle on sale to Golden Fluid. Anything in between, I use a lot of the Liquitex acrylics and I think that's what I'll use now. I'm going to jump right in here and when you when you add your paint to your plate, you can add a solid color of course. I like to mix it up because I think it gives it a little bit more depth. So I'm going to put tiny little beads of a couple colors of brown very little bit of this because I'm going to add green and some beige in here because of the print that I'm doing. So you'll see why in just a second. Just a couple little bits of this to break it up, get a little marbly, and then I'm going to go in with some of this acrylic paint that's got a shimmer in it to give it a little bit of pop, like a pop. That's it. So all in all, about the size of a dime, a dollop about the size of a dime is what you want to do. Um, not of each color in total. So I'm going to brayer these on. And when I brayer, I'm not smushing it around on the plate. I'm lifting and letting it roll and do its job. So this looks like a bunch of mishmash here. And it kind of is. But you'll see the method to my madness in just a minute. I'm going to clean my brayer between every roll. Get most of the paint off on a piece of, separate piece of paper. And I'm going to lay it upside down so that this wet paint doesn't stick to that and pull the paper off on the brayer, then you've got those marks in every print. Now you'll see why I want those colors. Because I'm going to use one of my favorite, kind of reminds me of alligator skin, stencils. Now eye stencils come in about seven or eight different sizes, and they have close to 3,000 designs. So you have come to the right place if you are stencil shopping. I'm going to push the paper and try to encourage it to go down between the stencil onto the open spots where the wet paint's exposed and get that paint to lift up on the paper. And I'm trying to recall what the design is so I can kind of feel my way. I'm using 110 pound cardstock. So that's a little bit thicker than, of course, than if you're using a thin tissue or deli, uh, deli paper. So I'm really giving a little, pretty good little push here. I want to get all those little bits in here, and here is my print. Now you see the depth of the print and the uh, the green and the browns and that beige, and how it made made it look sort of like a real gator. Oh, I watch too much X Men. <laughs> so we still have enough plate paint on the plate. Sorry, here to do what's called as a ghost print. So even though this is mono printing, mono meaning one print, you can judge it a little and try to pick up a ghost. Now sometimes this ghost is going to be just that, a very faint image of whatever's left on the plate. But this looks like it's enough paint down there to give me a pretty clean uh, ghost image. So we'll see. That's good. Oops, pulling that up. And it's, that's a kind of here or there, but that's a really cool start to a journal page to take a little bit out of there and make take a little piece, back it with some black cardstock and put it on a card. 
or cut it up and make note cards and matching envelopes with an envelope punch board, which I love to do with my jelly prints. Um, but this is just the first layer, so let's keep going. So now, remember, we had the whole plate brayered, so that means whatever's under the stencil is still wet paint. And there we have the pattern of the stencil to pick up, so that's going to be the positive image. And what I pulled was the negative, where the holes are. So you get two types of prints in one stencil and one pull. I don't clean my stencils. I know, dirty girl. But I do make a sandwich out of a piece of cardstock and rub the stencil like this. And whatever's wet on the back of the stencil is going to come up. And whatever's not wet is going to stay in the stencil. And I'm good with that. Pulling off the last print. So you'll see that is the image of the stencil. So here you have negative space. Here you have the positive space of the stencil. Cool. See all this on the plate? Do not wipe that up. That's good stuff to pick up later. So I'm going to go in and let's see what am I going to do here. I like to look for a, a really different type of shape to go on my next layer. I don't want it to be like little round circles. It's going to get lost in this kind of oblong roundish sort of shape, which you can see better on this print. Um, so I'm going to do something completely different and I'm going to go in with this crackle stencil, which I love crackle. So I'm going to go in uh, and I'm going to put some orange down on that because I like orange with those colors. So I'm going to put some orange down on the plate. And I think I'm going to add just a smidge of this dark yellow color. Mix that up a little bit. That might be a little bit too much paint. And I'm, I've trained myself to put a little bit too much down there after I really got the hang of what I'm doing so that I can pull multiple prints but you have to do it and kind of feel your way through it. You'll learn it. And the phone's ringing. We're going to act like the phone's not ringing. Call from Gale. Down. Now I'm going to take my print and I'm going to go in. Now this one with these fine lines, you really kind of have to encourage that paper to get down in those little crevices of those, uh, those cracks. All right, around and around we go. Pull it up, and you get another layer on that print. Now you can't hate that, people. I don't care. You can try, but you can't hate it. Love that, love that little bit of shimmer. Let me see if I can get you a close shot of what that looks like. scrum -shus. There we go. So I'm going to do a quick clean up here and not too much worry about too much other than making a sandwich and getting this off the plate because I want to keep this short and give you more shopping time because you're going to want to buy some eye stencils today. I always come here every time I find one I drop it in my shopping cart I can go back and delete it later and narrow it down which I usually have to because I have so many in there because out of almost 3,000 designs you're going to find a lot that you like. So you so that you don't lose track of which ones they were, throw them in your shopping cart and go back and settle that later before you check out. Okay, I'm just going to pull that off of there. I want to get some black on the plate just to give you a, an idea of how I like to do my prints and why I love stencils so much. So I have two layers on there and I'm going with my pop of black. I think a little black fine line somehow on just about every print really makes the colors pop, pushes stuff in the background, and it, it just, well, you'll see. So here we go. Here's a swirly design. Love me some swirls. I'm a swirl girl. Put that down. I'm going to go in with the same print. Flip it over. This is another one with fine lines, but again, they're not like the crackle pattern. They're big, larger, swirly circles. So I'm kind of dragging my hand kind of like a swirly circle, hoping that I hit all the right spots and get all that goodness up on that print. So I hope with just this little short demo that you can see what you can do with these stencils. They're going to last you forever. Pick a few designs 
that really catch your eye. You can use them in any kind of mixed media art. You can spray ink through them. You can dab paint through them. You can use a palette knife and scrape 3D molding paste and all sorts of things that you can uh, find on the market now that are 3D materials that are colored. And it just, it adds so much to your art. And there you have it. There's that little black swirl, my little papa. Hello, Papa Black. Mama loves you. Hopefully you could see the difference of that. See my love of stencils and will join me in going stencil crazy on your jelly plate. Okay, Patty Tally Parish signing off. Look for me on YouTube and I'll be back here. Have fun. Bye.